Hi, I'm Sue from Sue Kellen Designs. And if you can hear me, let Janalea know she's holding the camera today. And I want to make sure that you can hear me. I'm oh, here. I just realized we're actually live. We're live! So people are on there, so hello. Come and say hello to us too, so we'll know, we'll know you're listening. <laughs> we're live on Facebook with Iris Park from Misty Fuse from Attached Incorporated. Iris is the inventor of Misty Fuse. And I want to thank Iris for inventing Misty Fuse because it is my favorite fusible. Mm -hmm. And I use it all the time when I'm making my leaves galore shapes, my hearts and more shapes, all of my rotary cut applique shapes. But we're not here to talk about me today. We're here to learn a bit, little bit we're more about Misty but I'm Fuse. Grand -a -talk, actually. But I'm actually not the inventor or work with a chemist. Oh, okay. But I developed. You developed yeah, Misty Fuse well, with a chemist. Also in with a quilter so that there's quilting input, there's environmental input, there's chemical input, there's all kinds of input coming in from a lot of different directions. I wish I could say I actually invented it. But, well, pretty close. But I you made it happen. I made it happen. Right? But these other products I have. Okay. So, yeah. so Iris is going to explain to us how to put the Misty Fuse on the fabric, how to transfer a design onto Misty Fuse, and any other interesting things you want to tell us about the Misty well, Fuse. There are a lot of fun now, Janelle, is Misty. anybody saying that they can hear us? We've got some viewers. Good. I want to oh, know, cool. send us a comment. Can you hear us? Because we're a little bit far away from the camera. And I don't have any microphone here today. So let us know if you can hear us by sending us a comment. All right, go ahead. All right. So what I've just done here is I cut a little bit of Misty Fuse just to the size of my fabric. <laughs> This is Missy Fuse on a 12 inch bolt. <laughs> My recommendation is you will go nuts trying to do things with this if you don't put it on your fabric first. So for everything you do with Misty Fuse, you'll put Misty Fuse on your fabric first. Can I interrupt so, for one second? Yeah. Iris makes little bitsy pieces of fabric with her Misty Fuse. I fuse fat quarters. For my techniques, I need big pieces of fusible fabric. Yeah. So, so I fuse a fat in. quarter at a time using your fat goddess sheet. So keep going. You're going to make a little sample. I'm going to tell you just a little sales thing in the middle because for the fat quarters, look what we have, which we're just introducing now: oh, pre-cut yes. fat quarter sheets, a which misty make that fuse. light make that life really easy. You just take yeah the misty fuse on top of the whole fat quarter. We have the fat goddess sheets. Oversized with fat quarters, so really fast and easy. Perfect. I yeah. love that, Iris. Thanks yeah. for coming out with that yeah. new packaging. Yeah. Isn't All that right. cool? Good. So now, just for my demo, we're going to do put the Misty Fuse on the back of the fabric. That just means cutting the Misty Fuse to the shape of your fabric. Any extra pieces like that, keep them. Put them in a box because this is how you're going to baste your quilt later. You'll take all those little pieces on top of your batting and spread these out, doesn't matter if they're bent up, just, just no problem, just put it around on your batting, put your quilt up on top, iron it, mm -hmm. turn it over to the exact same thing, and you have basted your quilt, it'll be the best basting you ever had. No pins in the way when you're machine quilting, and I do this all the time. Take half a second, guys, and say hi to Kathy and Gail. They've tuned in live and are commenting. Oh, hi, hey, Kathy. Kathy. Hi, Gail. Kathy, who hi. and Gail who? Uh, Curry Jetter for Kathy and Gail Carson Romberger. Terrific. Thank Hello, you for joining nice us today. You. We're here at the Kansas City Regional Quilt Festival, and I'm with Iris, and she's going to show us how to put the Misty Fuse on our fabric. Okay. So now I'm just going to iron this together. I'm using one of our goddess sheets. Really, really thin. Your ironing time is, is a fraction of what it would be with any other type. And really good surface, so everything goes really fast. With Misty Fuse, I always glide the iron. I don't hold it and stick. I don't want to build in any bubbles or anything like that. I want to glide my iron. Those, those bubbles and the fabric and things all move at different rates. I don't want that air expanding and bringing off, taking off the shape. Okay, so glide your iron over to put it on. <clears throat> yeah, Good. so now that's Misty Fuse fabric. Now you can't feel this over there, but it is so soft. You don't even realize that there's any fusible on your fabric. Mm. It's really soft, but it gives it a little bit of body. So I don't need to use a um, stabilizer underneath when I'm buttonhole stitching my applique. Yeah, that's one of the it reasons. it holds the fibers, it's holding it together. Misty Fuse, 
like uh, some fusibles are just, you know, really every other fusible is a layer of glue between two fabrics. It bites into the two fabrics, it stabilizes together, and it's also why it feels so stiff. Misty Fuse doesn't work that way. Misty Fuse is an engineered whip that runs like little fingers up and down, which also is what keeps it so fluid and soft flexible. And yeah. flexible. So Misty Fuse, um, yeah, that was the reason I wanted to tell you that. So um, that's why it's going to feel so soft and to hold all those little fibers. And still hold the all the fibers so I can buttonhole stitch. Right. If you decide, hi. Say oh, hi to you. Sue Blywis, Amy Zellers, and oh, Bobby Sue Hunley. Blywis. Sue, you were so represented at this table. We have your instructions <laughs> for making the Sue. Thanks for tuning Thank in. Thank you, Sue. We miss you. Thank you. And we've got stuff of yours around, too. <laughs> Everything's been walking around here at different booths and stuff. So now that we have the misty fuse on the back of the fabric, and notice this is really shiny, that's because the goddess sheet makes it shiny. Right. I could use parchment paper, parchment paper is great too, but it makes it matte, you can't really see that it's on there. So I like the shininess because sometimes you just can't tell which side it's on. Right. So now that you have it, you want to get your design on your fabric. <laughs> and I don't like I don't like the idea of reversing designs. That gets me confused. Oh, me too. I so hate it when I, people I, reverse their designs. I can't, I just can't do it. So, imagine I'm tracing my design. So an F stays an F. No more reversing. If I were using a darker fabric, I might use a white Prismacolor or yellow or something like that. So now, I can just take as much fabric as I need with the few side down right on top of what I drew. Okay. It's like riddled baking parcel, just like we have in the grocery store. Right. And um, and a number two pencil, like the kind you send kids to school with. Okay, just a regular great. number two. So it's parchment paper so I can iron from that side. And I'm gonna just iron this poor thing is hard. She's oops, I moved this around. Oh that's all right. So ignore that idea. I just moved it, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Normally, you could just, that's what you used to see, is the back of your drawing, only you didn't have to reverse it. Right. So now, I could cut through that now, but I don't even like cutting through paper. No, why dull your scissors? Exactly. So what we're going to do is... I can take this off, and the design <laughs> is transferred right to the back of the fabric. Perfect. Can you see that F right there? That's transferred to the back of the fabric with, using a number two pencil. So now we can cut through just Of course, just I only fabric. caught half of the letter. Well, we but get you the get, idea. you get the idea. Yeah. But I'm going to do another one because our new product, this is our brand new product. We're just, this is, this is our year of soft introduction. We'll be introducing it really in Houston. Okay, great. But if you really want it, you can write to me and our website will be redone pretty soon and you'll be able to get it on the website. All right. So That's our first paper, thing. and I'm going to show you the package. Which is, why are we going to use bunny paper instead of doing this? Well, you know, tracing is a lot of fun, but you don't want to trace all the time. No. So here you can print off your design, and this adorable illustration was done by Indigo Perez, Judy Coates Perez's daughter, who did this wonderful illustration for us. And bunny paper now goes through the printer and you can print your design. Oh, I love that. And so this is, we're going to print it, and I of course, don't have another big piece of paper. Well, we'll use this. So, did this? There we go. This will come right out. This is a $39 printer that I just picked up here locally. Okay. And so, it works is it for, an, it's, it's, an inkjet printer? This one is inkjet, but this works in inkjet or laser printer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. For this function, I like the inkjet better, but the next what thing I'm going to show you is printing actually on your fabric, in which case I like the laser printer better, but they both work great. Okay, All so right. now you so put now, your design. Now, are these designs reversed or right? No, reading? everything's right reading. That's why right. you can read Kansas. Yeah. And now I'm going to take the fabric. Oops, I used that one already. Here's one. All right. Take fabric with the fuse on it. Now, I found when I was doing this here, this is why my soft introduction, when I was doing this, it was sliding when I tried to hold it in place. So I was getting a multiple image. Okay. So I found that if I just put this on top, and then I use a piece of paper, and the only paper I could find was in the bathroom, so I got a piece of bathroom uh, pa paper. Paper towels. Yeah, okay. I have a little bit of, I don't really want the edge. 
I always go over the edge, but in this case, I don't really want the extra glue on there. So I'll take that off. Don't you love the Band-Aid when you're demoing? I've, I sliced my finger right before oh, I no. came to the show. <laughs> no big, worries, you big, can't so, even see I know, it. I know, but it's like I'm going like this all the time. All right, so now just lay the fabric down. Normally I'd be doing a bigger piece of work. So now I'm gonna just put this there. Maybe I need to turn it around, yeah, to fit. And now this is so that I can hold it down. Okay. Otherwise, so it keep it from sliding. Okay. So keep your I, and fingers I still, away I, from the iron. I think I still slid it, but anyway, and also because my iron's really dirty because we always touch fuse the first five minutes of the show. <laughs> so now I can take this off, and you see I did move it. Okay. Normally, yeah. Normally you don't move it like I just did. Oh, okay. Here's We're your gonna bunny. Do. There's yeah, your bunny. a bunny, and here's also. This is, a, this is a K that we did. So you can just transfer your design. This is so much fun doing it live and screwing it up. <laughs> it always happens to me. <laughs> it just too. happens that way, right? Here are so, more bunnies and stuff like that. Tell me why you have this bottle of alcohol right here. Well, it's, I like having alcohol around. Right? I use it for a million things. But what it's really good for now is taking the alcohol on a paper towel. Maybe that's another paper towel here and put this on the paper towel like that and I'm going to wipe this off. I don't even need that yet because this is going to do it pretty much gather it all up here. So you're just taking off any ink that, well we printed a big piece and we only used a little bit. Right. So any ink that doesn't transfer you're taking off the and, ink. And whatever is left over because there will always be something left over on the paper after you've take it after you've transferred okay so I'm gonna just do I really made that juicy but uh, but that's okay it's gonna be good. that's it it's alcohol so it evaporates really really fast and now I'm going to put this oh my gosh you're kidding me it's printer. reusable it's yeah and this, you reuse gonna... this paper over and over again how many times can you reuse it we don't know we used one piece of paper yesterday for the whole day um, That's I don't, yeah, and then when it wasn't transferring so well, the, the, um, it was looking a little pale, then we retired it for a different use. Okay. So now I can print again, a new design, put it on, and this is really what it's supposed to look like. It and transfers mass. it, yeah, it transfers it really perfectly when you hold it and you don't move it because you're not in front of a camera. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> okay. All right. So the, what we did with it when we retired is uh, where is our other one? Oh, here we go. We ironed fabric on here with the misty fuse. Went through the printer and we printed on a label. So you can do a fusible label like this. So your fabric has fusible on it. You iron it to the bunny paper, run it through the printer, and you're printing directly on the fabric to make your label. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. So when you retire your bunny paper, yeah. it still has a use. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Iris, and you can also print, you could print on the back, cut out templates and iron that on to fuse. You can do all kinds of things. And, and we'll, we'll be discovering more and more stuff as we go along. Okay. So that's so, the bunny but, paper from Attached Incorporated. Yeah. And it works beautifully with the Misty Fuse from Attached Incorporated, yeah. as well as our applique pressing sheets. Now, I'm sure we could spend another hour talking to our customers here, but I think that's a great Thanks. introduction to Misty Fuse. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's been Thank fun. you. Oh, okay, great. bye okay. everyone. See you. Thanks for tuning in.